Following the controversial declaration of Martin A.J. Mensakosa as the winner of the Tichiman South 2020 parliamentary elections, the NDC's 2020 parliamentary candidate, Dr. Christopher Bejre Basongti, filed a suit at the Wenchi High Court on the 4th of January 2021, seeking to quash the EC's declaration. Constituents in Techiman South expected the suit not to take too much time and finally put the issues of the controversial declaration to rest. It, however, heightened tensions in the constituency, with some NDC party members calling for the case to be pulled out of court, as the party was not making much progress with the case. <laughs> Bibi Koso, and Tina Yes, let's say, Party near Co eight months in your one chick or two. And the other day, Anna Yen Timmy and Cassam Wemuno Cure and Mabeladi, or Munya Cassin in Banayan Prior Party, no, Naya Fan Fancy twenty twenty four and GSE. The case is to commence on the 16th of November 2021 after a nine month long period of legal processes within the case's preliminary stage. Notable points within this period include the NDC's decision to discontinue the case against the clerk of parliament. It will be remembered that the petition filed by Dr. Christopher Bejre Basongti originally involved Martin A.J. Mensa Corsa, the EC, and the clerk of parliament. The NDC's attempts, however, to serve the clerk of parliament proved difficult. There has been difficulty in serving the clerk of parliament because of certain constitutional provisions that makes it difficult to serve uh, either uh, of certain officers of parliament and uh, members of parliament. And so since we started the processes, we have not succeeded in serving the clerk of parliament. The NDC thus discontinued the case against the clerk of parliament so as to proceed with the case. Further into the preliminary stages of the case, the NDC filed an extra motion to amend the title of the suit, which originally claimed that there was no collation to no proper collation during the 2020 Techman South election process, but this was declined. The petitioner in his several statements have stated that they want quick case delivery. But now, we've seen in the court today that they are delaying the case. If they have done all that needed to be done, we will not have come this far. And we are not so much happy because Honorable Martin need peaceful mind to work. You who didn't follow due process to file a supplementary witness statement just this morning, when you knew, when you knew the case management was to come on today, and today was meant for case management, only case management, and it is today that you are filing supplementary witness statement. And you turn around to tell me that I'm trying to drag the case. And that supplementary witness statement did not come just like that. It came with a voluminous uh, file of, uh, uh, what do you call it? Pinces, uh, uh, duplicate pinces, which the court will, have, will, will take time to go through and to work with. So if you turn around, to tell me that I am, I, I, I am dragging the case, I, I should tell me hypocritical. The drama failed sitting on the 19th of April 2021, featured backup generators, a photocopy machine brought to the Wenchi High Court by the NDC, and power fluctuations as the NDC, the EC, and officials of the Wenchi High Court proceeded with the inspection of original paint sheets and other electoral materials as per the court's orders. We came and waited um, till I believe 10 minutes to the expiry of the deadline, but they came. So they have come, they have produced some documents, which uh, the issues we have with the documents have been raised, but. Uh, so that's it. There's just a simple process of EC producing originals of some documents for our inspection. So we've inspected and made photocopies. The contents 
will be discussed when they are in the, in the witness box. We knew that there could be power off, so we came prepared with our photocopier and uh, our generator. So uh, the lights off couldn't have stopped the process. Sitting on the case was also suspended for a period of two months owing to the judicial vacation from the 1st of August to the end of September 2021. In all, the preliminary stages of the Tichiman South election petition ran a span of nine months with a series of costs amounting to more than 32,000 Ghana CDs being awarded over the period. At the case management conference on Thursday, October 21st, 2021, the Wenchi High Court set the 16th of November, 2021, as the commencement date for the Tichman South election petition. When, uh, on the 16th of November, we will put our first witness in the box, and then that will be followed by my good self on the 1st of uh, uh, December, 1st and 2nd of December. We then we will come back uh, on the 10th of December. Richard Asamoah, a representative for the first respondent, Martin A.J. Mensakosa, says the NPP will do all it takes to reveal the truth in this case. We've set aside five good days to cross-examine the petitioner's witnesses. And today, whatever happened shows clearly that uh, come 16 November, that is next month, and 17th November, we are going to put fire, in, in fact, very supersonic fire, through the, the petitioner and any other NDC person who will sit in the dock. And we are going to bring out the truth from them, whether or not there was indeed proper and good uh, collation at the EC collection center. And all questions will point to the fact that there was. And there was no way that sort of question that will come. The petitioner cannot dodge it. He cannot escape it.